In this video, I'm going to look at how our blood pH is controlled by an acidic buffer system. So we'll just run through some key points and then on the next screen, I'll show you how the buffer works. So the first thing we need to say is that enzymes in the body are particularly sensitive to pH and they will only work correctly when the uh, pH is at the right level. So it's really important that the pH is correct. So our blood plasma contains a buffer system which controls the pH between this range here, so between 7.35 and 7.45, so quite a narrow window uh, it has to be. So if your blood pH falls below 7.35, obviously the blood's too acidic, so that condition is called acidosis. And if your blood pH goes above the upper limit, so it's too alkaline in other words, that's known as alkalosis. So, like all acidic buffer solutions, we need a weak acid and the salt of the weak acid. Um, so, buffer system in your blood is no different. So, the weak acid is carbonic acid, and there's the formula there, H2CO3. And the salt of that uh, contains the hydrogen carbonate ion, so that's HCO3 with a one minus charge. Okay, so we'll move on to how the buffer works. So first thing we'll do is we'll draw up that um, acid base system that we've got. So we've just said we need carbonic acid H2. CO3 and that needs to be in equilibrium with that salt ion HCO3 minus and obviously we need an H plus ion in there. So let's imagine H plus ions enter the blood and start to make it too acidic. So what's going to happen? Well this uh, concentration of H plus is going to increase. So this store or reservoir of hydrogen carbonate ions is going to react with the extra H plus ions and send the equilibrium system over to the left. So in terms of an answer for an exam, you don't, you don't need to say very much, you've just got to say the right thing. So all you would say is the, the addition of an acid or addition of H plus ions will cause the store of HCO3 minus ions to react with the H plus ions. The equilibrium shifts to the left, or you could say it shifts backwards. So let's think about the opposite scenario now. So we've got alkali enter in the bloodstream, so OH minus ions. So what are they going to do? Well, they are going to react with those H plus ions and turn them into H2O molecules. So we could, have, we could write a little equation for that. Um, but effectively, it's going to decrease the concentration of those H plus ions. So how does the buffer respond? Well, it uses the store of weak acid now. So that just dissociates more and the equilibrium goes to the right or goes forwards. So in terms of an answer, all you would say here is addition of alkali or OH minus ions will remove the H plus ions and so therefore this little reaction will take place so the concentration of H plus ions is going down so how does the buffer respond? The store of the carbonic acid, the H2CO3 dissociates more, the equilibrium shifts to the right or moves forwards and that's it.